Ali. I'm Suneha Rikhi, and today is International Yoga Day. And like Neera said, it's our birthday party. Right? So I'm so excited to be here today at the Yoga Con. Thanks to Neera, I think they've all worked so hard, and the team has worked so, so very hard. And today's yoga class is about self love. When people ask me, Sunaina, what does yoga mean to you? I always tell them it means love. It means to really love yourself on a physical level, on a mental level, on an emotional level, and on a spiritual level. Right? So it's all about that. Right? So let's get started. You can sit on a cushion like I'm sitting. You can feel, you know, that your body is hunching and it's falling down. So sit on a cushion. You can also take the support of the wall or just sit on your yoga mat, right? And I want to talk and do a class today so we really work with our mental and our physical stuff all the way through. So in yoga, we learn about posture, right? And posture is, you know, the straight posture. Yeah, not so rigid like I'm in the army rigid, but it's strong. And it's straight. And this shows confidence. It shows love. It shows compassion. Your heart is open. Your shoulders are rolled back. Right? The moment we are here, we are ready to give. We are ready to receive. Both are important. To give is important, but also to receive is important. So many times we need support, particularly, I'll do it on my own. I'll figure it out on my own. But love is to be able to say, you know what, I need this at this point in life. I need help. Or just accepting and being aware of it. And yoga when it teaches you to straighten out and open the body, it creates self-love because you're taking care of your body, what you eat, how you exercise, the gratitude that you have, right, in life is very, very important. So let's begin with the straight spine. Okay, so today's class, we're learning how to have that straight spine open our heart chakra, our heart center, and feel alive. All right, so let's close our eyes, press our palms into each other in the muscular Just sit here. Just lifting that chest up, use your thumb to lift your heart up, roll the shoulders back, keep the spine straight. Try to squeeze back through the shoulder blades, and keeping your eyes closed. I want you to just think of three things that we are grateful for today. It could be big things that you're very grateful for the job you have or the family you have. And it could be important things that I have a roof over my head. Um, <coughs> you guys are you're coughing. Comfortable bed that your limbs are working, that our hands are working. And today, as we explore our body, being gratitude to our body, saying thank you, we are always demeaning it. I have fat thighs, I have a fat belly, I have this, oh my God, my stomach doesn't go in. And your body responds to that negativity. Your body does everything for you. If I had a friend and they gave me food or they fed me food, I would say, thank you. Your body is your temple. And just bowing down to this space, to this heart space. And the intention today, whatever you do, 
don't listen to every thought that happens in your head. One of the biggest acts of self-love is don't listen to every thought. Some thoughts create stress, anxiety, fear, panic, depression. And some thoughts create happiness, joy, peace, love, right? So really concentrate on the thoughts that are uplifting. And with that, we bow down to ourselves and back. All right, my friends, happy International Yoga Day. Okay, so today, as we are doing self-love, we are going to do heart openings. All right, this center of our heart and our upper back needs to be open. Okay, so our first thing that we are going to do is you're going to take your arms up and exhale, squeeze back, like squeeze your shoulders back in a W. You can take them wide as well. And exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades back, like squeeze back. So you inhale, open your heart. Arms out or arms up, whatever you feel like. And as you exhale, squeeze. Really open the heart center, squeezing between the shoulder blades. Inhale. And as you exhale, squeeze. Keep going. You're going to do five more of these. Inhale. And exhale, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. This is amazing to open your body, to open your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing. When you bring your arms out, it increases testosterone in your body. You feel like the leader of the world, the boss. Take it. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And release. All right. From here, I want you to just be on your heel and just stretch your body out, keeping your hips in line with the knees and just stretch out. Really feel the heart open. You can keep your forehead down, my friends, or chest down. Start to breathe into the lungs. Three more breaths. Hips up, feel the armpit opening out. And release. An interesting fact I want to tell you guys, you know when the armpit opens out and you really breathe into the armpit, it releases depression. So the more your armpits are open, the more you will release. A lot of people who are scared, if you notice, are like this. Okay? So for us, we need to be here. All right? The third one is cat and cow. Again, breathing. So I'm opening your body before we move into pranayamas. 
which is such a beautiful self-love technique. So open your fingers wide, straighten the elbows, keep the knees right under the hips. And we've all done cat and cow, but this time your intention is to really love your body, to hear the sound of your breath. All right, so inhale, push the chest forward, drop the stomach like the udders of a cow. And as you exhale, woo, round creates strength in your belly. Pushing the hands away. Inhale, open the heart center, move the heart over ahead of the arms. And as you exhale, round, round, round. Inhale, lift up, feel the heart center taking in all the breath. And as you exhale, round the body. Inhale, open the heart, be slow, be mindful. This is really not about just sweating it out. This is about concentrating on the flows, the movements, the breath, and giving your body that space that it needs to love. And you only get space when you empty out. Breathe. Exhale around. And back. Come back and let's sit in Vajrasana. Well done. All right. Now I want you to, you know, even when you're roaming around the house, it's not just about a yoga mat. But the moment our shoulders are down, if you see me like this, you'll be like, oh my God, she really doesn't love herself. She's so underconfident. She's not, you know. So the moment our body opens, our mind will change. So we've always heard that when the mind opens, the body changes. Now I'm saying when your body changes, your mind changes. So simple act. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Shoulders back. Pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades. Lift your heart. Inhale, open. Ah. Inhale from the nose. We're going to do a cleansing breath with the mouth. Ah. Inhale through the nose. Ah. One more inhale. Ah. And as you exhale, bring the stomach to the thighs. If you have a cushion, you can place a cushion under your head. If you don't reach the floor, place your head on the mat. Straighten the arms. Really all the shoulder blades don't be rounded here. Try to roll it back. Open your chest. Breathe into the chest. Slowly inhale and release. How did that feel? It's just this slow breathing and this movement. I remember when I used to go pick up my daughter, I'd be going to a school and I would interlace my fingers and I would walk on the road and everyone would be like, what's happening? But for me, I was opening, I was letting go to be free, to be empty for when I go pick her up. 
right? I needed to empty out. Okay, now this time, because our shoulders are feeling a little bit more relaxed, I now want to work with the neck, okay? Because now, because the neck is attached to the shoulders, this creates a lot of stress and anxiety. The moment we have stress and anxiety, forget anything else. You can't be like, if you have so much stress and anxiety, you can't be like, I'm going to just love myself, right? You need to relax, you need to release, you need to release from your physical joints. So for this one, I want you to hold your elbows at the back, right? So if you can't hold the elbows, hold somewhere around the hand. And with this position, just being in this position makes your chest open. And from here, you're going to take your head back and forward. So you're going to inhale up. And you're going to exhale down. All right, inhale up. Exhale down. Move the head back between the shoulder blades. And chin down towards the chest, but don't drop the chest. Keep the chest open. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. It's beautiful just to be mindful, continue. Of the body. So many times we think about our soul and we think about our spirit. But we are not conscious of something that is so tangible, which is our body. That is your step to understanding yourself. Because how will we change if we don't understand it, if we are not aware of it? And the moment we are aware, we start to create acceptance and say, yes, I need to work with this. And release. Ah, my hands are like feeling all numb. All right, so this is really kind of opened you out here. And from here, I want you to just keep your hands down on the floor and take your neck to the right and to the left. Be soft. You can always go back to these practices because they help not just with loving but to remove your stress, to remove your anxiety, depression from your body. Can you feel it, everyone? Can you feel it? it's like, oh, it's all in that neck? 90% of the students that I teach have neck and shoulder tightness. And slowly but surely come back. All right, next one. Just look over your right shoulder like you're looking at somebody behind you and to the left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Really giving love to our joints. They work so much all day for us. It's like giving time to give something to them. Because we always say, oh my God, my neck is hurting, but what are we doing about it, you know? And that in itself is the act of self-love, showing up. Back. All right. 
Now you're going to take your chin down and you're just going to make semi-circles back and forth. This movement of half circle or full circle also has this benefit. You can take it all the way back and down. So you can walk just anti-clockwise first five times and clockwise five times. This asana is very good if you have thyroid issues because it really activates your thyroid and your parathyroid glands. And the other way. Yoga as a holistic science is known to reduce cortisol in your body, your stress hormone, and to make you more high powered with the testosterone, the male hormone. Ah, it feels awesome. It feels like, my God, we are in a trance. Nice. Okay. Let's come out of this position and let's relax the legs. Ah, oh, I'm sitting in Vajrasana or easy pose. Now I want you to work with your hips and your shoulders and your neck. Everything in one, okay? We'll be slow, we'll be soft, and we'll be loving to our bodies, right? So take your right leg and place it over the left knee. Yeah? Take your left leg and place it on the side here. Now, if you cannot do this, most of you will be able to, and most of you, and not most of you, some of you, if you can't do this, be in easy pose, how you we were sitting in the cross leg. All right, now, your right knee is over the left knee. Take your right hand and place it on the right side of the mat. And as you do so, just drop the elbow if you can, if you can't, stay here. Also, I have a cushion here. And I've got all of this to tell you that when we need support, it's important to take support. You know, don't feel, oh my God, I'm trying to reach the floor. You know, it's really, one second, I just come a little bit here for the camera. And feel as your elbow or your hand is down that you're really grounding down from here. This area of the body, the left side, can you feel that stretch? Can you feel that when we are stressed out, it doesn't accumulate in our mind or our hearts. It accumulates through every single cell of our body. Really feel the pushing of the chest forward. Push the chest forward, keep the heart open. Lift the left arm up. You can be here or diagonal. Whatever works for you. Our camera put a picture of each other, maybe cry. And really feel as you inhale that you're. Pushing the chest forward, and you're taking the arm, you're stretching. It's like you're in an elastic band. The moment we don't stretch, have you noticed those old rubber bands you see in the office and they haven't been used? And what happens if you try to open them? They break. So that's like our bodies. We need to keep stretching our spine so at the end of the day it doesn't break. And now from here, you will take your left arm halfway down. Yes, don't mirror me, okay? Just work with my left and right. And take your thumb in and your fingers over your thumb. Drop the right ear down. Aha! Feel the stretch on the left side. You can stay here or make small golf balls with your left hand.
And the other way. It feels good. And drop your hand and come up. Ah, nice. Take your head to the left. Take your left hand and draw so that your right part opens up. And that. All right, my friends, straighten the legs again. And here now we will take the cushion to the right. Take your left leg, place the left knee over the right, the right leg out. Try to bring both butt cheeks on the floor so you're not like falling here. You're trying to engage and you're trying to balance. Shoulders back. Take your left hand on the floor or elbow to the floor, whatever you feel like today, how your body is feeling today. Might feel very tight, might feel open. And really open through the shoulder. Feel that as you inhale, your chest is pushing forward. You can stay right here, or you take your right arm up, and drop diagonal. Feel the heart lift. Breathe. And stretch as you move your fingers to infinity. Push the right buttocks towards the floor. Fill your heart with love. So work through the ribcage as it opens out horizontally and vertically. Keep smiling. And slowly take your hand, arm down halfway. Put your thumb in and then your fingers and drop the head. Move the left ear to the left shoulder. You can stay right here. Make small golf balls with your right hand. And the other way. And slowly come in. Ah, feeling so good. Relax the legs. Did you feel it in the hips and the shoulders and the upper back and the neck? Now we're doing another one. You've already done it before. I know it. Even when you were a kid. Badha Kunasana. Oh my God. The inner thighs. Right? This is really associated with your sexuality. Right? And also with so let's just interlace our fingers and place the hands so we are in the pose and then I can tell you. With our sexuality, with our uterus, our ovaries. So also for all the women out there, if you have PCOS or you're going through menopause or you're feeling period pain, anything related to your uterus and ovaries, this is just such an amazing pose. Just feeling love there. And for the men, if you do a lot of core as well, for women as well, if you do a lot of core work, a lot of gym work, your inner thighs will be really tight. So you're releasing. A lot of us have 
these doubts in our sexuality, which is a hindrance to your self. So now I want you to take five deep breaths, just from your stomach, not into your chest right now. Just breathe into your stomach, balloon the stomach, and exhale, draw it in. Inhale, balloon the stomach. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, balloon. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. From here, you can stay right here, upright in a dignified way, or you fold down. As much, right? There is no award for flexibility. It really, and there's no magic dust that we have on the floor. There's nothing here. Okay, so it's okay if I'm like, oh, it's all good. All right, you can just be here. And if you're rounding, Really try to lift your spine, and that is beautiful. Just feel lifted. All right, the others, if you can go down, you start to move down. And you can bring your hands down here. You know. And like I said, our problem happens when. We attach to every thought. So if at this moment you're having a thought, ah, mm, ah, I'm so inflexible, I can't do this, I can't do that, oh my God, I can't even move down. Let those thoughts go away. You're moving your body, you've come in Vadakunasana. Now imagine you think of the thought, I reached, I'm doing the yoga thorn. I've done two classes before, wow. I'm on the mat here, I'm relaxing, I'm learning, I'm growing. Even if it's one thing I take from this class, which will help me for the rest of my life. Amazing. Right? So change the dialogue that plays in our mind. Right? So just moving down. And from here, we're going to take our hands to the left. The twisting of the spine. I love, love, love. My favorite part is the twists. I love them. It's like, you know, when you have water in the clothes and then you have to wring the clothes to take out the water. That's what happens in the spine. When you wring the spine into the twist, it removes oh, all the stress and that tension. And slowly walk. Over to the other side. Everything that you do, just give it your best shot. You might be practicing for 10 years, you might be practicing for 10 months, it might be your first day today. It's your journey. And slowly come back. Ah, oh, too much stretch. Right, so release. Mm -hmm. Guys across the camera, you guys are not muted. Okay. Do it next. I'm going to do a twist again. Okay. So from here, you take your right leg, you take your right hand at the back. If your hand doesn't reach the back, take a block, take a cushion, take a bolster. I'm giving you the bolster right now to show you. Because sometimes what happens is if you're hunching a lot, then you're going to fall down. But if you have support, I'm telling you, self-love requires you to take support in life. I'm not teaching you things on the mat. I'm teaching you things on and off the mat. 
what's the point of just learning here and doing a split? How does it matter? In the bigger range of things, how does it matter? It doesn't matter. Right? It's important to release our bodies. And for some people, it might be to release because they've released so much that they need to go into a split. For you, it could be just this much and you're releasing. The whole point is to create space and release. Okay, so again, be kind, be soft, be gentle. Let's take our right hand, place it on the bolster. Do you see what happened here? If I have some support here, I rise. I rise and shine. All right, so inhale, left arm. And as you exhale, you take your right knee in, you take your left arm out. Okay, so between the elbow or the shoulder. Now, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to inhale up. I'm not going to twist it. Because my first body movement of the spine has to be length. Because if I'm here and I do this, there's no twist, there's no heart opening, right? I want you guys to open your heart. So really feel this length. And as you exhale, you look over your right shoulder. You can keep your left leg relaxed or flex the foot. But today's class is really to create ease and softness in our hearts, in our bodies. You can take your head over your right. Inhale, look forward and release. Good job. Change. Left leg bends, right leg is straight. You can flex the foot, you can relax the foot today. And take the right arm up, left hand onto the bolster on the floor. Now, this is not length, everyone. What is length? That is length. Feel the length and then exhale. Out. Inhale, lengthen the body. And as you exhale, look over your left shoulder. Aditya, you guys are not muted. I'm not understanding why we are not muted. Really breathe with each breath twist more. And inhale, look forward. And release. Good. Awesome. Okay. Now you can lie down on the floor. But if you're home and you have a towel, which you can roll up. And you can do this later as well, right? Now you can just lie down on the floor. If you have a foam roller. But I want to show you this so that, because this one I really love for opening our heart center and breathing. So we're going to do a pranayama here. You can do this lying down on the floor. So without the bolster first, I'll show you. Because I know a lot of you will not have a foam roller. or But a lot of you have towels at home, like a thick towel. Roll it up or a thick blanket. Roll it up. So if you're doing it without, I want you to be here. Roll the shoulders in. And bring the soles of your feet. Sukta Badha Punasana. You can keep your arms out. Or I really want you to, again, touch something in your body that you're not very comfortable with, that you don't like very much. And it could be silly things like fat thighs or small arms or anything, right? Whatever you have an issue with, just I want you to place your hands there. Okay? I'll continue with that. First, I'll explain it with the bolster as well. So what the bolster does, or a towel does, is it opens your heart center even more. So your lungs open up. 
So I place the bolster on the small of my spine. So just, if you don't have it, just learn it and do it lying down. And then later, when you're in bed, you can do it in bed. And you just lie down on the bolster. Now, just join the soles of the feet together. Now see what's happening here, everyone. My shoulders are not here anymore. I can drop them. I can squeeze through the bolster. Okay, and now you can place your left hand on your heart, your right hand on your stomach, or anywhere that you feel that you need loving, or just open if you feel like I want to just open out. I'm going to take you through two to three breaths, and then you will do it on your own for five more rounds. So you're going to inhale. For one, two, three, four. And as you exhale, draw the belly into. One, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two. One, four, three, two, one. Keep breathing and counting in your mind. Feel the heart opening as you inhale into your heart space. Exhale through the sun. And relax. Join the feet together. Roll over and come up to sitting. You can again sit on a cushion for support. For support, I'm having my ginger tea, my throat is really gone. Okay, let's sit on a cushion. And I'm going to teach you Anilom Vilom, which is, I love this breath because of what it signifies as well and what it helps us with. So Anilom Vilom is alternate nostril breathing, right? So when we feel all over the place and we need to feel balanced, we need to come back to us. This breath is your go-to breath. It's a miracle drug. So your left side of your nostril is lunar energy. It's the moon, it's the soft, it's the feminine. And the right side is your solar energy, the sun, the solar eclipse today, the, the strength, the man, masculine, yang. So this is the yin and this is the yang. So let's do a test right now, okay, before we start. Try to breathe from both your nostrils and see which one is more active. If you can't understand which one, close one nostril and breathe from the left. Breathe from the right, close the left nostril.
and you will get your answer. Where the breath is more soft, it's fluid, that means that nostril is more open. So at this moment, if your right nostril is open, that means I'm feeling high power. If your left nostril is more open, you are feeling more calm, more relaxed, more grounded, okay? So this breath, this pranayama is going to help balance the left hemisphere of your brain and the right hemisphere of the brain, okay? Are we ready? Let's keep it simple so that whenever you want to do this, you can do this. I'm not going to complicate this for you because really it's not about doing this just, oh my God, I need time to do this. I know some of us don't have the time. Whenever you need to do this, it should be your go-to thing wherever you are, okay? So take your left hand and you can just place it on your knee. You can be sitting on a chair to do this or on the floor. Right hand, I'm not using index finger and all of that, okay? Like keep it simple. Thumb and index finger. I was going to say ring finger, I'm not using. Yeah, so I'm just using these two fingers, okay? You close your right nostril and exhale all the air out from the left, okay? I'm going to take you through two or three rounds and then you'll do five rounds on your own. So you inhale from the left. Seal the nostril, pause. Exhale from the right. Inhale from the right. Seal the nostril, pause. Exhale from the left. That is one round, my friends. Let's inhale from the left. Seal and pause, exhale from the right. Inhale from the right. Seal and pause, exhale from the left. Continue for five more rounds. Last round.
hands to the thighs and your arms are done. Inhale the breath. Hold the breath. Exhale the breath. Hold the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Gently relax. One more before I take your leave is whenever you are feeling very anxious and you need to calm down, just breathe in and out through the left nostril. Okay? So bringing and closing your right nostril. You just do five rounds to understand. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, in, out. There's an instant calmness here. Mm. Let's do three cleansing breaths, okay? Lion's breath. So bringing your hands down, opening your wrist. You can take out your tongue, I love it. Just let it go, forget any judgments, forget anything. Like I'm doing this with all of you and on television, right? Who cares? Let's just do what we got to do. All right? So you're going to inhale. And as you exhale, so just see one. Ha! Doing the prairie. All right? So cleansing breath. Release it all. Inhale from the nose. Exhale. Ha! When you're angry with your partner or kids, just do this breath, okay? Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Ha! And release. Ha! Just five, four, opening, three, two, one. Namaste to all of you. Must be to yourselves for showing up, for dedicating yourself to this, for a commitment that you have made. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Lots and lots of love to all of you and have an amazing Sunday. There's so many more classes coming up. Enjoy yourself and have fun. If you need to relax before the next class, please lie down in Shavasana. Just relax your body in Shavasana. I won't do that with you right now because the other class needs to come in. But please do lie down in Shavasana and just, just be. Right? That's love. Mwah. Ciao.